In this puzzle, we're going to find a couple of sets of identical twins. And these identical twins are going to help us get past some difficult sections of the puzzle. I believe identical twins are unique to this channel. I haven't seen anyone else use a similar technique. You can learn about loner cells, which are related to identical twins, and identical twins on sudokuprimer.com. You can also find lots of other information about Sudoku there on sudokuprimer.com. Uh, I mentioned there are going to be two sets of identical twins in this puzzle, and so I can kind of explain them pretty well as we go along. This is hard puzzle number 62 from um, Charles Timmerman's book, 500 Plus Sudoku Puzzles. And you can find that on Amazon, by the way, if you're interested in it. Well, let me get started by filling in some numbers that are pretty easy to see. And if I fill in any numbers that, that uh, you don't understand, if, uh, if I put in a number and you're not sure how I got that, Please, please leave a comment and I can uh, answer any questions you have. Okay, that five wasn't too straightforward. If we look at row two here, Let's see what we're missing, what numbers we're missing. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 5, 8, 9 are missing in this row before I put the 5 in. Here's a 1, 2, 8, and a 9, so we know that's a 5. That's how I got that 5 there. Okay, now at this point we're already sort of stuck. And so let me introduce the first identical twin. Now this identical twin has a bit of a twist to it. If you look at box three here, or any box in a Sudoku puzzle, you'll see that the second and third row have to be, there are six numbers there, and they have to be the same six numbers as in the first row outside of the box. Right now we've got a 2, 4, 7, 6, and 9 outside of the box. And inside the box we've got a 4, 7, 6, and 9. So we know one of these is a 2. Now we know the other number here is the same number that fits in this cell. And that is an identical twin. So one of these two empty cells here is an identical twin to this cell right here, the number in this cell. The other number in one of these two cells is the identical twin to this two. Now, um, normally you'll only have one empty cell. The second set of identical twins we, we find in this puzzle, I'll, I'll show you there's only one empty cell in the box. That's a more typical identical twin. But let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. One of these is a 2, and the other one is whatever this number is. Let's look at what's missing in box 1 here. We're missing 1, 8, and 9. There's a 9 right here, so that's a 1 or an 8. This is a 1, 8, or 9, and that's an 8 or a 9 because we've got a 1 there. So the identical twin here is the same number that fits here. It has to be a 1 or an 8. And look at this. We've got a 1 and an 8 in this column already here, column 7. So we know that can't be a 1 or an 8. So that is not the identical twin to that, but that is a 2. Okay, so that is a a little bit of a twist on a regular identical twin, but we found that too because of identical twins. And we know that this number right here 
is the same number as what's in this, what will be in this cell, because this is the only cell in this in box three outside of row one that is empty. This is the only cell in row one outside of box three that is empty. So we know they're identical twins because we got a two, four, seven, six, nine, two, four, seven, six, nine, and whatever that number is. Now we can't solve that right now, but we will be able to later. So let's continue on. And so we found this two, so we know that this is a two right there. We have a two there and a two there, so we know that's a two. Okay. Let's see, there's only two numbers left in this box. Six, nine, so we can solve them. Now we've only got one number left here. It's a two. Now we've got another identical twin right here. This cell and this cell have the same number. And you can see that because we got a three, seven, one, eight, and five in this row outside of this box here. Three, seven, one, eight, five. So we know that number has to be the same as that number. Now let's look right here and see what number f would fit in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Six, eight, or nine. Well, there's an eight, so that, that's a six or a nine there. We've got a nine. Oh, oh and before I point out that nine, this has to be a six or a nine also. And because we've got a nine there, we know that is a six. Because these have to be identical, you know, the same numbers. So we know that is a six. So, so that is a concept of identical twins, and it comes in pretty handy sometimes. Alright, let's look and see what else we got to hear. Six, six, six. Six, six, six right there. And now we've got all the sixes filled in in this puzzle. Three, three, there's a three right there. Alright, and now we've got a plus pattern right here in box five. We've got a four and a three. Um, outside of box five in this row, we got six, two, and seven, and they're already all there. So with this four and three, we know these are four, three twins. With these four, three twins here, we know these two numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one and nine. So we can solve those. Alright, let's look at this, see what we're missing here. One, or is it one, two, four, two, four, and nine. There's a two and nine there, so we know that's a four. There's a nine there, so we know that's a nine, and that's a two. Let's see what we're missing in box two here. In this column, we're missing one and four. So we can fill those in. And now we're missing two, three, and eight. There's a two. And so three and eight, eight go there. All right. Now we've only we're only missing one number in this row right here. And if you remember, that's our identical twin. In this column right here, we don't know which one is a one. It could be this one, this one, or this one. But since we know these are identical twins, we know that's a one there. So identical twins can be very, very uh, useful. Okay, let's see what we're missing here. Three, five, eight. Three, five, and eight. Eight, eight. So there's an eight, five, three. Okay. Now I got a one right here. Okay. There's a. Let's see. We're missing.
missing three and nine there. Here we're missing a five, so we can fill that in. Okay. Missing three and nine, one and four, and three and four. There's a one, so we can put the four, one there, the three and four, four there and the three and nine there. Right, we're only missing one number here, that's a uh, eight. Five. Five and nine are missing there. So we can fill those in. And we're missing eight and nine there and eight and nine there. So that's an eight, nine, eight, nine. And that's it. All right, so if you remember, we got this identical twin here with a twist with the two missing. We found the two and then later found the one, the identical twin ones. And find just finding this two helped us find these two twos and that two and the six and nine, and it really gave us a good start on this puzzle. And then we found another identical twin here, these sixes. So that's the concept of identical twins. Very, very useful concept. And quite often you can uh, uh, move past a very difficult puzzle using identical twins. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, uh, be sure and check out sudokuprimer.com for lots of Sudoku information and help with techniques and patterns.